hello viewers welcome to the channel and to another video on 3d exercise in this video we'll design the simple model and the part design workbench using FreeCAD. i'll show you how to do that in a few minutes the first thing that we need to do here is to create a new document to do that just click on this icon and next let's change the workbench to part design okay and now let's see our 3d model we go to this model here as you can see here we have our 3d model and to start the modeling of this 3d model what we'll do is to create this part here first to create this part we'll use a sketch and then a revolution tool to create a salt let's do that go to this model and first we create a new body just click on this icon and now let's create a new sketch click on this icon and select axi plane for this sketch okay and now we need to go to these tools here sketch jumps and from here we need to select standard rectangle this option just click here and now click on this horizontal axis and now in this vertical axis and as you can see we have this rectangle now skip and select this vertical line here and now delete this line and next go to sketch drums again and now just click here and select this option select this last option click here and now just click on these two endpoints of these two lines here and draw this arc in this way as you can see here we have four degrees of freedom we need to full constrain this sketch here so first you can select this tool here constrain distance and click on this line here and set the length of this line as you can see we have 50 millimeters here so we change here to 50 and okay and next we need to set the radius of this arc here we can click here and select this option constraint radius and now click in this arc and set the radius as you can see we have 100 here set 100 and enter we need to constrain the horizontal dimension here as you can see we have 41.18 here from this point to this center point what you can do is to create a point in this arc and then constrain the point in this horizontal axis and next you can create the horizontal distance so what you do we select this tool here create point and you create a point in this arc and next you use this constraint here and we constrain this point and this horizontal axis and now we have this let's zoom in and select constraint horizontal and now select this point and this origin point and now let's add the distance as you can see we have 41.18 set this distance and enter and we still have one degree of freedom let's see what we need to constrain here escape and let's drag this point as you can see we have to constrain this point here what you can do is to select this constraint here and then this horizontal axis and this point escape two times and now it's time to create a revolution of this sketch to do that we need to select this tool here revolution tool and uh, now just click ok and we have our free 3d salt as you can see okay next here what you can do is to create this part here to create this part we we'll create a sketch first and then use this tool here to create an extrusion of the created sketch so let's do that go to this model and first create a new sketch select axi plane okay and now go to sketch jumps and click here no click here and select this first option ellipse by center click here and now click in this origin point and draw this ellipse in this way next select constraint vertical and constrain this line here and now that we have this let's constrain the dimension of the sketch let's select constrain distance tool for this horizontal line here we'll set this distance 25 millimeters and for this vertical line we'll set we'll set 40 and as you can see we have this sketch full constraint it skip two times and now select pad tool and the length of this pad will be as you can see we have this this is here we'll set eight millimeters here and enter the next step now is to create a polar array of this operation like on this exercise here we have three 
items here so what you need to do is to go to the model tip and select this last operation this path here and then select polar pattern tool just clicking this icon and the first thing that we need to do is to change the edges of this polar pattern to do that we need to go to axis and click here and from here we need to select z axis okay and now as you can see we have this next let's increase the number of recurrence to three and enter and we have this as you can see and next here what you can do is to create a new sketch to create this pocket here and also this cut and these three occurrence here so what do you do we can select this face here and create a new sketch okay and now what you do we select cycle tool and draw this first cycle and this origin point now we have this cycle for this pocket next let's draw another cycle to remove material in these three parts here and draw another cycle in this way okay next let's select constraint in radius and for this cycle here we'll set this radius here 77.5 seven, okay in this way and for this inner cycle we'll set we'll set a range of 25 millimeters as you can see here let's set 25 and enter let's click in this cycle and set and set 100 and enter and now skip two times and next select pocket tool and now what you do we change the type here to trigger and now okay and as you can see now we have this the next thing that we can do is to create these fillets and this chamfer here let's do that go to this model let's select these all faces of this three operations here and now select fillet tool and the size of this fillet as you can see here is one millimeters we have one here let's click okay okay next let's create this fillet here this fillet what you can do is to select this edge and now control this edge here and now let's select fillet tool and the size of this fillet as you can see here is Two millimeters so we change here to two and enter and we have this next let's create this chunk for here let's select this surface here and now chunk for two what you'll do here is to put this formula as you can see here we have this diameter 28 and this rate here 25 58 divided by two millimeters minus 25 and we get this click ok now if we select this chamfer as you can see here we have four millimeters and there is two sides here okay now we have this the next thing to do is to create this is to create these pockets here around this cycle what you need to do is to create a sketch we can create in this face here select this face and create a new sketch zoom in here and next select polyline tool we need to select this tool here and draw this triangle in this way okay and next we need to select constraint symmetrical this tool here and we set these two endpoints similar to this vertical axis in this way and also we need to set a angle of 90 degrees as you can see here in these two lines we can use this tool here, perpendicular tool, to set the angle. Okay, now I have this and also two degrees of freedom. What you'll do next is to select constraint vertical and then this point and now this point here. And uh, the distance here will set 28 millimeters. Okay, and now escape and just drag this point in this way and uh, select horizontal distance tool. For this line here, we can set eight, and now skip two times. And now let's create a pocket. To do that, let's use pocket tool. And also we need to change the type here to draw all. And okay. Now we have this first pocket, as you can see. And the next step now is to create a polar array of this pocket, this operation. 
like in this 3D model. What you need to do is to go to the model tip and select this last operation, this pocket, and now select polar ray. And here we go to the chorus and we change to 22. And as you can see, we have this. Now let's click OK. And now we have our final model. So what can I say is thank you for watching this video. If you learned something with this video, please leave a like, a comment and share this video with your friends. If you want to support the content of this channel, there's a link in the description of this video to my Ko-Fi page. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.